Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition of the Smart Survival Guide. This episode is using the My Content folder in the gallery. How to organize it, how to use it, how to make it yours. I'm your host, Matt Granger. So the current gallery tab, second one down here with a little picture of a picture on there. This is the current version. Take a look here in my my content folder for now and we can expand it a little bit we can see that i have 1083 items uh, it shows that i have 1002 pictures 34 interactive and multimedia 37 notebook files and pages 10 backgrounds and themes and you can see all of the folders here uh, since this is on a mac there's a little triangle if you can expand that folder to see more so within this five box folder there's all of these folders on a PC that's where you have the little plus and the minus sign it's the exact same thing so in your gallery here with your 6,700 plus items and you want to find something right we're going to search it we looked at this in a previous video how to do this but we'll review it here so we're going to, let's look for the timer. So you type it in, hit enter. And my search for timer gives me eight related folders, one picture, eight interactive and multimedia, and two notebook files and pages. I want one that I'm going to be able to set and interact with. So it's going to be here in the interactive and multimedia. So I can scroll down here. And there are several. Notice that a couple are different sizes. Let's say we take here this, I think this might be the default one that comes out. Right? But you can make it bigger. Because when I use this timer, I want it to be, right, it's the only thing on the page. So I want it to be nice and easy for the students to see wherever they are, etc. So I'm going to put that here and make it bigger. I might even want it set to a certain time, 10 minutes, for example. Now that I have this, this size, and set for 10 minutes, if I drag that over here into the gallery tab, and it pops open, and then I drop it here into my content, 1,084 items now, and I have another one here in my interactive and multimedia. Okay. So I can click there and I can scroll through to find where that timer is. And since I've done this several times and I haven't cleaned it out, I have several of them. But which one is the 10 minute one? Let's see. I'm just going to I'm going to click the auto hide here so it doesn't go away. We talked about that in a previous video too. When I'm creating something and I don't want the tab to disappear every time I click back into the workspace here, I uncheck the auto hide so now they both stay open. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that and delete it. Which timer is it? It's probably not that smaller one. It's one of these bigger ones. Is it this one? That, there it is. So, here it is. How can I make sure that this... I know that this is my 10-minute one. Well, over here, since it was this one that I took, I can click on it, go to the drop-down menu, go to Properties, and I can change it to 10 minute timer count digital hour measure. these are the keywords that are in there by default now that I put it into my content folder I can go ahead and get rid of any of those that I don't need count see I don't think I would ever want to find that by using the word count uh, that's really all I would use it for so there I've gotten rid of the extra stuff that I didn't need that was put in by default from smart and now I've customized it so I can find just this 10 minute timer as opposed to these others so now if 
I get rid of this one again. And I go into search and instead of just timer, I put 10 minute timer. Now, there's only one interactive and multimedia, so I can go directly to it. So that's one important thing that you can do in the My Content. You can change the names, you can change those keywords or tags, if you will, to make it easier for you to find based on what you call things or what you want to name them. When you have 1,083 things in here, right, and it's, okay, I've got a picture, right, click on my content 1084 now sorry 1002 pictures I don't want to have to scroll through here and look for things I want to be able to organize things so I can get to it quickly because maybe I don't know what it's called uh, for a great example here um, these five box reviews that we had to do when I would create these I could come in here, five box, okay. Ooh, notebook, file, and pages. I know that that is my background, my five box template that I saved. So there it is. Now I can come in here and say, okay, I need uh, algebra readiness. So before I put anything into my content, I always think, where do I want it? And I create the folder for it first because to have all these things in the my content and then trying to find it once it's in here for one thing to then put it into a folder later very difficult to do so if I'm going to put something in I always think ahead of time the things that you put into your content don't just have to be from the gallery you can get them from anywhere so let's say you need a picture of a cheetah Oh, beautiful. That's great. I want to put this now onto my notebook file. So I can right click, copy image, go back to my notebook file, right click in the workspace, paste, and there's my image. Now that it's in, I can resize it, do all those things that you can do with it and now I can put it into my content as well but again if I drag it in here it's gonna disappear into these 1084 items 1002 pictures somewhere I don't know what this website called this picture so I'm not gonna be able to search for it or anything so I need to know where it's gonna go it's gonna make it a lot easier for me so I'm gonna go in here into my content I don't have a general science folder so maybe I need to add that so my content folder is selected I have the drop down here new folder it's gonna pop in at the bottom or in the use untitled and I'm gonna call it science now I could just drag it directly into that science folder right now there's nothing in there but I do see that I have like these solar system pictures I'm gonna actually drag them since I already have I'm gonna drag that into that science folder now so it becomes a subfolder inside there so maybe now I want to create an animals folder inside the science so I'm gonna click the science new folder and title it animals now if I was gonna be putting hundreds of pictures of animals in here eventually I might want to you know subdivide them again mammals vertebrates invert you know however I want to do that it's totally up to you so I'm gonna drag it now drop it here into my animals folder and you see that it shows up here now one picture and it's called NBK 91099-382- capital O A F O or zero. So I doubt I'm ever going to be able to find that again. I can just click here and hit return to rename it, or from the drop-down menu rename. Then it would show up in a search. But I'm going to just go into properties because I'm going to rename it here. Cheetah. 
but I can also put some other keywords in here. Cheetah, animal, science, mammal, feline, cat, not specifically cheetahs, so you put in animal in your keyword. Now when you search animals, it'll pop up as one of your options. So now that picture is in my science folder in my content and the animals folder. So you can get pictures from the internet. You can insert pictures from scanners, from a document camera. So if you, you know, have pictures that you've taken, you've got digital images somewhere, you can select them. So I've inserted this picture from my digital camera. I can now resize it, use it lots of different ways in the lesson. But say, you know what, I might want to access this picture again for something else. So I'm going to put it into my content. Since I just selected one at random, I'm not sure where it would go in here. So maybe I'll just make a miscellaneous. So I select my content, the drop down, select new folder, miscellaneous. So now I can drag that picture over. Once that changes and highlights, I can drop it and that picture will be added to my miscellaneous folder. Then I can go in, change the properties and make it more usable. Alyssa in kayak. So this is where key words would be very important because I may not remember what that is. So kayak, Alyssa, Copper Harbor is where it was taken. Close. So now it's there in my content. Join us for our monthly Spurgvug meetings. Somewhere around the first of each month, you can go to smartboardrevolution.ning.com for more information, the current schedule, and links to the previous meetings and the recordings, uh, so you can go back and find out what you've been missing. This is the Smart Survival Guide with Matt Granger. I hope this has been helpful to teach you how to organize and use your My Content folder within the gallery.